Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kev Tech here bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Sunday. And today I want to go over part three of my health this lab. You think it's the same? It's hard. Trust me, it's not the same. Obviously, if you knew me, sure, you know what to do. Rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. All right, so I'm going to share my screen. And I want to do part three. So today we are going to do this. I am going to grab my screen. Open, share that screen. I'm going to open up virtual box. Um, I have my Windows 11 machine over here. So it's already installed and set up. So all you want to do is you want to add a brand new machine. So we make a brand new machine. You're going to call it Windows 11 is what you guys want to do. Like I, I already have it set up. Windows 11 lab, right? And I'm going to hit finish. And I'm gonna start it, and this is gonna this is a this is where it's a problem to set this up because you can't you can't bypass certain things. But let me um, get a disk here real quick. So I have a bunch of CDs here. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch, this one, Mountain Reboot. I already ha I have Windows 11 and set up already on another machine, so. I believe it doesn't have it doesn't have anything on it, but I just want to go to the installation process just to show you how this works. You want to make sure you, you use a pro or an enterprise edition. Home is not going to work for this because we're trying to join it a domain. So we're going to do accept terms of agreement. I mean, realistically, I don't think anyone reads that anyway. <laughs> like old jokes aside, like it's like no one reads the, the terms of agreement, but. You know that we're gonna let that cook for a little bit, so we're just gonna open up the other one, and this one should be ready to go. Oh, it's opening on my other screen; you can't see it, but it's on the because I have three monitors. My top left screen it's open on right now, so I'm opening up my other VM right now. Just give me a second, and then we're gonna open up the server as well. Might as well open up the server, and I know this does not have a password on it. My uh, Windows 11 machine that I have. And I'm just uninstalling an app right now because I had to do some work on that machine. So that, that one is installing right now. Just gotta give that a second. My server is trying to open, so just give that a second. So our server is up. Um, I'm trying to mess with um, my uh, Windows 11 machine on the other screen.
All right, I got the intended to work on this machine. So it's right here on the screen. So I actually turned on properties. I went here, uh, host enable ad adapter DNS uh, settings uh, and close out of that. We, we re again we're doing it on Windows 11 because Windows 10 is expiring in October. So I don't want I don't I want to make sure this is up to date with everything. Uh, I went to network settings, and um, I allowed VMs bridge adapter is on. So this has internet now, and I have a user account called Kevin in here already. So what you can do is if you want, uh, I'm going to go to properties here. Four gigs of RAM, Windows 11 Pro is what I have. Um, if you guys want, you could create another user account here if you want, but I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to, I'm going to leave Kevin alone for now. I'm going to reset a, a password here for, for Kevin. Just, I have it there as a safety net in case I have to log in again. And then we're going to log into the server real quick. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to do what I did, what I have done before. I try to join it in a domain, which is what I did before. And I should have other VM up over here installing right now. Yeah, it's installing right now. Uh, I don't, I've been trying to avoid like, um, let me see if I can remove the network settings to see if it lets me bypass um, the skip. So I'm just gonna put Kevin in like the other one. And I, I think this is what I did last time. I like turned off the internet because then you have to do registry keys in order to actually bypass the login screen. Um, it sure let me in to Windows 11. I shouldn't have to put like answer passwords or anything or answer questions or create questions. It should just let me in from my own from my understanding from how I did it last time because. This is a pain in the butt to to do like registry keys, and they still they still they still work, but it's just it's just a pain in the in the butt, you know. So that, that's that's the that's the issue. So. So that's that's the issue I had last time. So this is taking a couple minutes, but this is what this is what you want to do now for. Um, for now, we're going to go to this machine. Uh, we're going to right-click properties. Um, and we're going to go rename this PC. So I did another lab. That's not the one. It's going to force us to restart, which is fine. Restart now. And then for lab purposes, we're going to do network settings. Uh, I believe it's host adapter only is what we're going to do. It's going to look like that. Don't worry about that. And we're going to go to control panel. And we'll connection options. Sorry. We're going to go to network status, change adapter settings, properties. And this is going to be 
Yeah, so we're gonna leave, we're gonna leave that as that. Um, should be ten by one by ten by two, ten by one by ten by one. And we're gonna close that out. Do that there for now. You could see that this one's already created, it's already done. So, like that's how I got this to work. Um I'm sorry. This is the this is not the other one. Log in that real quick. Um you go down here. That's how I got this one to work. Sorry, this is the this is the brand new VM. So I'm gonna just I'm just gonna shut this down and kill it. Uh, you don't need it right now. That's just we're gonna we're gonna play with that later because I want to use two VMs for this lab. Shut down anyway. Um, and then the other one is coming up right now. It's trying to log me in. So and then this is where you do um, you go to CMD. Um, it's fine. And we're gonna go to control panel. And we're gonna go to view network status and task, change adapter settings, internet. And we're gonna do network settings. Uh, host only adapter settings. So now it's not, it shouldn't have any internet. Uh, and we're gonna change that to 10. Dot one, ten dot three, ten dot one, dot ten dot one, and then ten dot one dot ten dot two, ten dot one dot ten dot two. I'm gonna hit OK. Uh, and then we're gonna hit OK. And do CMD. And looks like I'm able to ping that. Um, let me see what happens if I try to join another domain. So basically, I want this computer to be on the domain. And this, if you do, who am I? Uh, if you do, who am I? Slash question mark. You do, who am I? Fully qualified domain name. So DC is Kevtech, kevtech.com. And Brad, I created a domain controller. If you guys remember from the installing Active Directory before, I have Active Directory installed on this. And if you do properties, it's Kevtech. I'm not changing anything out of it. Um, so it's it's Kevtech. So what I want to do, I'm trying to join this computer domain, which is why I changed the network settings. You saw I put host adapter settings for both. So if you do, if you saw I changed the IP address. To this one for 10.1.10.2.255.0.0.2.10.1.10.1. And if you go to the CMD on Windows 11, IP config, 10.1.10.3.255.0.0.0.0. And then 10.1.10.1, right? So, so I'm trying to get this computer that's 10.3 or 10.1.10.3 to join to the domain to this computer. That's why I did that. So the easiest way to do it is if you if you're brand new to IT, if you right click, so you go to the C Explorer, you right click this PC, you do properties, uh, and then you have domain or work group is right there, and you do change and you do kevtech.com, and it's gonna come up with this this thing over here, right? And you have to put whatever whatever you have here, put password that is for, for um, it's good now. Put the password for whatever you have here for the administrator or the domain controller for this machine on the left or the server on the left. And if you know if it's set up correctly, you should see the desktop literally right here on the computers, which is here. So that means it successfully joined it. So like, you guys don't have to use Windows 10 
uh, you, you can use Windows 11 now. It used to be a problem before, but now it isn't. So if you really want to test this out, what I recommend you do, and I remember I created uh, uh, my, my, my pool buddy, my pool buddy, he plays a lot of pool like me. I want to log in as Mark. So if I want to log in as Mark, I can log in as Mark. So you just make sure you put the right password because otherwise you won't be able to log in. So I have to put Mark. Mm -hmm -hmm. I'm just going to remove this. You see now how you, you you should be able to log in. You should be able to play around with your lab. Now you have one machine that has a server and another machine that has Windows 10 or Windows 11 on a domain, right? If you're using Windows 10, obviously. I'm using Windows 11. Now you can play around with both machines. And if you want to get like, if you want to get nitty gritty with it, is our set tools is not user friendly or doesn't work properly on Windows 11. But if you want to get uh, nitty gritty with it, if that makes sense, um, you could go in here and, or rather, you go to you go to this PC, uh, right click this PC, go to properties, go to rename this PC advanced. And then if you want, you could allow remote connection here and you could add people. So this is an administrator already has access. So like you could go in here and if you have the IP of that machine, Right. Realistically, it may it may it should work. Yeah, it does work. So it's supposed to let you in. And now 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 I'm logged into that domain controller. Look, see, I remoted in from my Windows 11 machine. So those are things you those are things you should do. Obviously, you want to create group policy, share folders. We're gonna do that later on in the lab. And I also want to add an Intune experience as well on your resume. So we're gonna do some Intune stuff as well. So I'm gonna get out of this machine. Okay. Uh, and I'm gonna shut down this machine. I don't want to make this video too long because then you know it's just it's just gonna be like too long for everyone. I don't want to do that. So then, just like before. You just kill your machines uh, and uh, I'll stop sharing. And then that's it for me. Like super easy, super simple. Like I said, I don't want to make it too long. I do want to incorporate Intune in here, which is why like, I now have a Windows 11 machine. Boom. Server. Boom. Domain join. Boom. Now I can do group policy. We do a bunch of other stuff for fun. All right. Hopefully this helps you out and I'll see you guys later. Bye.